40 pounds of weight loss in just two months. That is the claim being made for the Ozempic weight loss challenge, not the medication, but a slurry of oatmeal and lime that you drink in the morning. So is there any evidence for this? And if you want to try this for yourself, what are some things you need to know and how might you improve this? So number one, what is this? So the Ozempic challenge is this. It is a cup of oatmeal mixed together with a half a lime and a cup of water. You throw it in the blender and you drink it. And while I would say right off the bat that there's no definitive proof that this concoction will specifically stimulate weight loss, there is some evidence that this actually might work for some people. And one of the main reasons is that this is a high fiber drink. Oatmeal contains fiber and fiber does a lot of good things for us, such as for instance, fiber could lower cholesterol levels, which is one of the reasons why oatmeal is a heart healthy food. Fiber is also a source of energy for our gut microbiome. Yeah, the healthy bacteria that predominantly live in our large intestine, they like to eat fiber. And when they consume fiber, they give off compounds called short chain fatty acids. These short chain fatty acids do a lot of things in the body and it's quite possible that by adjusting, modulating the diversity of the microbiome, this in turn may help foster some weight loss. Oatmeal also contains compounds called beta-glucans, which can help our immune system stay stronger. And because it's fiber, oatmeal helps us stay satiated and reduces our appetite, which in turn can lead us to eating less food. And that really goes to the heart of this Ozempic weight loss drink. And that is, if you're normally consuming a high calorie breakfast, for instance, maybe you're doing fast food and you swap that out for some lower calorie high fiber concoction like this oatmeal drink well then at the end of the day you've consumed less calories at the end of the week you've also consumed less calories and that's the real reason why people lose weight when they switch to using this Ozempic oatmeal weight loss drink now if you're going to try this weight loss challenge there's a few things that I would throw out for your consideration and number one is this you don't necessarily have to use the lime. Now, while limes are healthy, there's just not a lot of research in terms of citrus fruits in general, helping people lose weight and burn fat. There's this study that you're looking at here that suggests that maybe citrus fruits and citrus extracts may lead to a couple of pounds of weight loss, but it doesn't seem to cause us to burn body fat. It doesn't lower waist to hip ratio either. If you wanted to, however, you could swap out the limes for some spinach. Spinach does contain common compounds that do appear to curb appetite. And I'll link to my video on spinach and weight loss below so you can check that out. Now you may not like the idea of oatmeal and spinach. So one thing you could do in addition to this is throw in a scoop of protein powder. Protein doesn't have a lot of calories and also protein can slow down the digestion of the food, helping you feel fuller longer and can also help stabilize your blood sugar too. And I'll link to my favorite protein powder below so you can learn more about that. Now, if you're gonna do this Ozempic weight loss challenge, a couple things to realize is this, you're probably gonna lose weight in the beginning pretty quickly, especially if you adhere to this to the letter. And most of that weight loss is gonna be due to water. And that's due to the depletion of glycogen in your muscles. Glycogen is stored carbohydrates and with glycogen is a lot of water. So as you burn off your muscle glycogen, you're releasing a lot of water and that's probably gonna to lead to some more frequent trips to the bathroom. Now fiber also makes us go to the bathroom and that's another way in which you might lose some water as well. And this loss of water weight may last for a week or so so after that, you're going to notice that the weight loss is going to slow down. You might lose maybe a half a pound a week or maybe even a half a pound every other week. Now, while that's where usually people get discouraged, but you really shouldn't be because when weight loss slows down, that is when you're starting to burn body fat. Now, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Anybody who has like an eating disorder, probably not a good idea to be doing weight loss challenges because they're just not going to help you in the long run. And another thing I will point out is that it's probably unrealistic to expect that you'll lose 40 pounds in just two months. And for most people, losing that much weight in a short period of time is not healthy either. For example, losing weight really quickly could actually lead to some muscle loss, which is not a good idea because when that muscle is lost, it doesn't come back. Now, if you really want to add some variety to this, 
why not add some fruits and vegetables to your oat zempic drink? For example, you could add apple and orange, broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, frozen peas and carrots, blend all that up with the oatmeal and drink that. And adding a little protein to that will make it taste better. By adding more fruits and vegetables, you're getting a much more broader spectrum of nutrients. You're feeding your microbiome with a lot of other nutrients it might not otherwise get. And also, since most people don't get the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables per day, by doing this, you're actually helping yourself meet what's healthy in terms of fruit and vegetable consumption. Now, I also want to point out that if you stop doing this Ozempic weight loss challenge and go back to your old way of eating, all the weight that you had lost is probably going to come back and probably going to come back fairly quickly. So instead of looking at this oatmeal drink in the morning as something that's short term, you're only going to do for a couple of months, instead, look at this as something you're going to do long term to help you not only lose weight, but stay healthy as well.